Hi and welcome to my videos on Adobe InDesign CC Interactive. If you've ever wanted to figure out how to do interactive stuff with this great program, you've come to the right place. I've got the ACE qualification in InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator. I'm also an ACI, Adobe Certified Instructor. I've written a bunch of books. I teach this stuff all the time. I have done for years. And I should know what I'm talking about. And I've got my own company. This is Tunnel Vision LTD. And if you like the videos, please get in touch with me. Email me. Tell me what you think. Tell me if anything needs improving. And you can find links to all my other videos on Skillshare and Udemy and anywhere else they're hiding at this address. So please let me hear from you. Adobe InDesign is surprisingly good at doing interactive stuff. So this video, I'm just going to show you the very basics of hyperlinks. And they're dead easy. So this is page one. I've got a three-page document here. There they are. There's nothing very exciting about them. I put a big number on each page, so there's number two. That's where we're going to arrive with a link that targets page two. And page three is where we're going to arrive with what's called a text anchor link. And then I'm going to show you a link to a URL, which is going to take us, obviously, right out of InDesign somewhere else. So there are certain limitations. If I want to define this as a link to page two, I can't. What I can do is define it as a link to a destination. If you wanted to use a link that said, go to page whatever, go to page whatever, you can't export the result as a PDF. There are certain restrictions. But you can define destinations in documents that are going to be taken out as a PDF. The alternative is Flash or EPUB. And I'm not doing EPUB here. And I'm not even going to bother with Flash, so let's not. So this is going to be hyperlinks. So the first thing I'm going to do is Window, Interactive, Hyperlinks. Now I think this is actually a bit of an oversight by Adobe. Destinations do not show up in the window. Links do, but destinations don't. Now that's unfortunate, because it means if you've got 40 destinations to define, and InDesign crashed, midway through, you don't know exactly where you got to because there's no record of which ones you successfully completed. So you're just going to have to go back into InDesign and say, okay, this link, and InDesign will say, no, got that one, and then you do the next one, no, got that one, and finally you'll find out where it failed, and you can carry on from there. If they just showed up in the window, that'd be great, but they don't. So first thing we have to define is the destinations you can't point to something unless you've got something to point to. Think about it. Try firing an arrow at a target and the target isn't even there. So we've got to put the target there. And in order to define a page as a page link, I have to tell InDesign that that's the page I'm interested in. And I'll do that by double-clicking on it. So now I'm on page two. Then if I go to the Options button in the Hyperlinks window, New Hyperlink Destination, and usually it's got a pretty good idea of what you're talking about. And if it didn't, you can always just tell it. So these are the basic kinds of hyperlink up here. These are the ones I'm doing today. If there were more than one, then you could choose from this list. There's only one. It's page two, and yes, it's page two. Zoom setting, I usually change that to fit in window. Because then in the result, if you're going back and forth using links, all of the results will fit on your screen. Where sometimes when you open a PDF, it's huge and it doesn't fit on the screen and you've got to keep on reducing the page size. Now I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go to page 3. This is not going to be defined as a destination, but the text is. Now I've used this silly text so that you can see that that's actually what it's going to pick up. So I'll highlight that, go to the Options button, say New Hyperlink Destination, and because I've got text highlighted, it has a fairly good idea again what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is going to be a text anchor. And there's a copy of the text that I had highlighted on the page. The way that a text anchor works is when you go to that link, it will put that line of text right at the top of the screen so that what's below it is also visible. Whereas with a page link, it's just going to go to the page. So I'll click OK there. Now the third thing I wanted to do is create a link to a URL. Well, I'm going to do the others first, so you'll have to wait. So that's it. 
As before, if you enjoyed these videos, please get in touch with me. Tunnel Vision LTD, there's the website. Let me know what you thought. I would really appreciate hearing from you. And you can ask me any question you want. Bye for now.